I found this interesting all at my local Wednesday morning flea market. It had a brass bolt in the handle that held in the steel shaft. I found this little piece of brass screw in there too. I think it was added as a spacer. I put the whole thing back together without it and the shaft was loose. I also noticed that the ferrule had a collar that was free to rotate. I thought I'd try out the coarse conditioning belt on the brass. I think it did a nice job. I worked on the slot in the bolt with a small file. I stuffed in some steel wool and used the file to polish the bottom of the slot. Here's the brass parts after the medium and fine conditioning belts. I used my drill and sander to clean up the steel pick. Once I got below the pitting, I went over it with the conditioning belts. Here's the pick after the medium and fine conditioning belts. This is the setup I came up with to allow me to mount the handle in my drill press. Here's the handle sanded all the way down to 320 grit. My plan was to make a stop for the end of the pick. I started out by annealing the end to make sure the metal was soft enough to cut threads in. I got it red hot and then let it cool down slowly. It just worked out that the diameter of the pick matched a standard thread size. My idea was to turn down this acorn nut to act as a stopper for the end of the pick. I figured that the nut was plenty tall so that I could achieve proper clamping without having to resort to that piece of brass spacer I found in it originally. I also went ahead and flattened the end of the brass bolt. This was all that was left of that acorn nut. I was happy with the fit-up of the parts. I stained the handle with Minwax Early American that I got at a yard sale.
Okay, so this is what the scratch wall looked like the day I brought it home from the flea market. And here it is now. I finished the wood handle with a few coats of shellac. Chuck and I went after the brass with our flits. Chuck loves it when we polish brass. This scratch all or pokey thing, as Mag Daughter would call it, is made with my three favorite vintage tool materials steel, wood, and brass. The rotating collar on the furl and the complicated method for securing the pick are both features I haven't come across before. If you have any information on this particular design, let me know in the comments. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching.